Jack, just ticked over the 150 day mark since your Achilles injury against the Taipans last season. How's the journey been so far? It's been tough, not going to lie. Uh, it's probably been one of the toughest periods of my life. I was actually just watching the, the replay of the Cairns game last night. You know, I knew I was having a pretty good, good game up until the end of the third quarter when the injury occurred. And this does not look good for Jack White. But you know, it's, it's been great so far, just seeing the progress that I've made and, and the work that I've put in um, paying off. Um, so obviously now just being able to jump and run again and start to increase the intensity of all that and feel like a basketball player again, as opposed to just a weightlifter and someone who does a lot of calf raises is definitely nice and, and keeps you positive. The Achilles injury is well known as one of the worst injuries for a basketball player, but talk us through the rehab milestones that you've ticked off so far and what's to come. Yeah, I mean, right at the start post-surgery, it was probably the most terrible two weeks um, that I've had physically in my life. Um, you know, just the pain associated with just getting up and feeling the, the blood flow down your leg was excruciating and, you know, I couldn't do anything. I had the crutches, so I couldn't even, you know, go into the kitchen and make myself coffee or anything like that. So I was almost felt like I needed a little bell to try and get my housemates to help me out with all that kind of stuff. But, I mean, post that, um, moved into a different cast where I could start weight bearing a little bit and start moving around, which was definitely a big step after, you know, not being able to do that. Um, and then, you know, once the cast came off, it was all kind of about just restoring the mobility, um, you know, in my ankle and, and my Achilles and um, start to walk and move just a bit more better and natural. Um, and then, yeah, following that, you know, trying to restore the bulk because obviously sitting in a cast for eight weeks, um, your legs not doing much. So, you know, just the sheer amount of bulk that I lost um, during that process was um, pretty extraordinary and some that you know, I actually thought that I was going to lose a bit more because um, I'd seen how some people's legs had, um, had handled that part of it. But I was very fortunate to not lose as much as I thought and pretty much just got back on the, on the bus of, you know, lifting every day and, um, you know, just pretty much doing what I can, trying to stay in here to keep myself sane and get shots up whenever I can. And, um, you know, it's good just we're at a point now where um, I've kind of ticked off the, the worst parts of the, the whole process and starting to jump around and shoot and you know get on the bike and do conditioning and everything of that nature. I feel like I'm making good progress and moving towards the things that I'm going to enjoy a lot more. We were speaking to the physios a little bit earlier just off camera and they were saying that you're tracking really well in terms of the, the regular sort of timeline in the recovery process. Uh, you've started running again, jumping and change of direction and that sort of stuff's next? Yeah, so I'm um, doing like a little bit of that now, but it's not really as intense. So just really ticking up the, the intensity of that along with, uh, you know, combining the running with um, more volume of shots um, and, and just getting more, um, I guess, conditioning through it. Um, so it can handle, obviously, ultimately going through a whole season of, you know, playing, a, playing basketball. And people might forget you damaged your finger and you'd just come back from that when you got back on court for a couple of games before you did your Achilles. Um, Talk us through how that's recovered, but then also you were saying to me earlier the byproduct of being in the gym going through the rehab process is that the rest of your body is now in probably the best condition it's ever been in. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, haven't had a lot of luck recently, that's that's for sure on the injury front, but um, you know, I felt like I really did a good job of doing the work um, during that month I was out and letting this recover. You know, it's it's looking pretty grim still, but like it feels better than it looks and you know, it's not hindering me in, in any way. And you know, like they, they actually said to me that it looks better than they thought it would just because of how bad I broke it. So uh, I'll take I'll take that W, I guess. But yeah, going through that process and then obviously coming back and um, you know, I've had some good luck with, with not being injured and you know, really having some longevity with being able to play full seasons and stuff in college before coming here. And you know, breaking the finger was definitely tough mentally because I was having so much fun um, playing with the group and we were obviously having great success. Um, wins wise and, and all that so you know I was missing it a lot and then coming back um, had the South East Melbourne game where I felt like I was just kind of finding my feet and getting used to being out there again but then yeah that Cairns game where I tore the Achilles up until the end of that third quarter where I did it um, I was feeling really good about my play and feeling a lot more like myself so once that happened and I kind of knew it at the moment but it was in denial about it all because I didn't want to accept that this was this was happening but you know I just got to apply that same mindset as I did to the finger and obviously over a longer period of time significantly, but you know, that's just how you got to look at it. You just got to try and take the little wins each day, especially in a time where, you know, you definitely got to take the, the positives where you can get them. And the rest of your body, speaking of positives, feeling really good? Yeah, feeling really good. Um, you know, really try to focus on my diet and, and things that, you know, now being away from basketball, 
trying to focus on things that you know I can improve, like my mobility and flexibility and, and strength in other areas um, that you know I really wouldn't have had the chance to focus on as much if not for the injury. Um, and I think that's you know definitely helped me stay positive as well. We're just trying to focus on things and find the positives in the negatives. Um, it's probably been a, the biggest thing for me over the last, I guess, six months now. Um, but yeah, man, feeling really good. Um, just really excited to get back out there with the fellas. And, you know, I'm really excited about this group we com got coming in. And I know it's a bit of a logistical nightmare getting everyone to Melbourne and, um, and all that kind of stuff. But once we get everyone here and, you know, we, we fill this place up with all of Melbourne United, I think it's going to be pretty special. And, you know, I definitely can't wait to be a part of that. Well, I know the, the fans certainly can't wait to see you back out on the floor and we fingers crossed it's as soon as possible. But thank you for joining us today and best of luck. Mate, my pleasure. Thank you.